Well, now we've been able to change the title of our label, but it still looks pretty ugly. So let's go ahead and figure out how to change some of the attributes, both the color and the font for both our label, our button, as well as our background. I'm kind of bored of a white background here. So I'm gonna to go to my main storyboard file. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have our scene outline open here. Now, if for some reason this gets closed, you can press this button down here at the bottom to open and close it. And what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to make sure that you have the correct view object selected because if you have the wrong one selected, you won't see things properly in the attributes inspector. So let's go ahead and start with our label here. We'll start with our top object. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change its color. So let's go ahead and press this color. We're gonna go to the bottom here and select other. And let's lighten this up so we can drag up to the top here. And let's go ahead and make this red. So I'll drag there, press exit, and we now see that my label is red. We can also change the font, so I can press this little T here. And instead of system, system, let's go ahead and select custom. And this will allow me to change the family. So we can choose something like Futura. And let's go ahead and also adjust this and make this larger while we're here. Go ahead and press done. And we see that now my label has outgrown the size I created with and the text is too large. So if I hover over these guiding uh, dots here, I can go ahead and make my label larger so that the text fits here. But I've made this too large and now it's aligning to the left and I can go ahead and center this up again, but it looks kind of off. So I can also change the text alignment to be centered. So again, it's centered in my application. I can also change my button here and let's again go ahead and change the font here. So I'm gonna go to custom and we can choose, uh, no, we wanna choose the family here. And for this one, let's go ahead and choose courier. And again, I can upgrade the size, press done. And we see once again, my text has outgrown the size of my button. So let's go ahead and drag this out and we can recenter this up. And now we see that my button is larger and I've been able to change both the color and font of my button. The final thing I wanna do in terms of changing the look of this application is to press on the view. And all view controllers get created with a view, and this is kind of, you can think about the background or the base level what, that everything gets added on top of. So we can actually change the background color of our view here, and we're gonna go ahead and, and we could select one of our presets, and let's just choose light gray for now. So now we have our nicely designed application. Let's go ahead and press stop and press run. Incidentally, the issue I mentioned earlier, the reason we're putting this stuff at the top, is the default simulator is the iPhone Retina 4 inch, uh, 3.5 inch screen. However, what we're using in our simulator here is a four inch screen. So we can actually switch this to the iPhone Retina 4 inch, and now it'll proportion it properly, and we can move these labels down to the bottom of our project if we were so inclined. So after running this, um, you can go ahead and see that these colors are reflected. And there's one other thing I wanna mention. If for some reason, your simulator is too large or too small, you can change the size of your simulator. With your simulator selected, press the window, and you can scale it. So I've gone ahead and choose 75%. You can change it to a different scale if you're so inclined. So you can press the press me, and we see that the color is still working as well.